Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial video. My name is Geek Thilo and today we're going to discuss how to create a sticky header using Elementor Pro, right, in WordPress. So basically this video is going to be for the people who are using Pro and are facing problems while creating sticky header. This feature in free version is handled very differently for if you have Elementor free version, then I've already created the blog and also I've created a video. So you can use that. It has a specific code which you can integrate. I'll also be creating another video for the free uh, people who are using Elementor to build their headers. But this specifically is for the people who are using the pro version of Elementor. And it's fairly simple, very, very simple to create a sticky header using Elementor pro version. All right. So let's just take a look how to do that. All right, guys. So here I am and I'm just going to show you what is it that we're trying to achieve. Okay. So I have basically two sections. I've created a header where I have two sections. One section is this top bar where I have this specific, some menu over there, some contact details. And then I have another section. I have two sections over here, right? So this first section is the red bar and second section is the actual menu where I have the logo and some, uh, you know, this main menu. So this is how I've created the header. Now what happens is when I scroll down, I want this header to be sticky so that everything, you know, uh, when I scroll down, this red bar doesn't show up, but just this, you know, this top bar, this part shows up, right? So for this, what I need to do is I need to make sure that you know uh, uh like i want this sticky because i want that you know if i'm going down people can still be able to navigate using this part right so to do that uh we'll be trying to do that with elementor pro so remember you should have elementor and you should have elementor pro only then this method is applicable otherwise check out the other blog that i've created which will guide you on doing it for the free free version itself for the elementor also right or for any theme also so let's just go and, you know, we're going to apply this. Currently, this is the website we're going to work on and this has no sticky header uh, currently. So what I'm going to do is first, I need Elementor and Elementor Pro. That is what I need, right? After that, the theme that I'm using is Astra theme. You can use any theme. It, it works with any theme if, as long as you have Elementor Pro. But for me, I'm just telling you I'm using Astra theme. Now, uh, if I come to, uh, you know, now I need to edit this. Now I'm in the front end. Okay, I'm in the front end. What I need to do is I need to come to edit with Elementor. I need to go to the theme builder. In the theme builder, I already have created a header. Okay, if you want to, you can just go to the header and from there, whatever header that you want, you can click on add new and start creating it. I'll just reuse it for saving, you know, for the time purpose, saving the time. I'm just going to reuse the header that I've already created. So I'm going to come here. I've imported the header and this header that I've created has this one section which is divided into two columns. One has this, you know, uh, icon box and one has this menu option, which I've placed over here. You can design it. I've not uh, spent much time on designing. It's just for a show for how to do the sticky header. Now I have this logo and there's a second section. This section has this logo and this is a, the second part has the menu, right? So this is the section that I've designed. Now I want this to be my header instead of the one that I showed you. So instead of this one, I don't want this to be my header. I want to create a new header. So this is the header that I want to create. Now to do that, I have to, as I already told you, what I have to do is I have to come to the advanced. Okay. I need to select, I, I only want, like, you've seen this, this red bar. I don't want this as a sticky. I just need the lower bar as the sticky header. So what I need to do is I need to select the second section. Make sure you select the second section. From here, you can go to the motion effects in the advanced tab, go to the motion effects. Over here, you have this option of sticky. So make sure you can stick it to the top, right? You can do it for all, uh, select the devices, desktop, tablet, mobile, I've selected all. If you need any offset, you can set some offset also, right? So with this, if you're scrolling down, you will see there's some offset set over here. Okay. Now, if you uh, need some effects for the uh, you know offset, you can set that as well, right? But currently I don't need that. You can set an entrance animation. I don't want to do that. I'm just fo focusing on the sticky part, all right? Now, uh, let's also remove this. I need to set this as default. All right. Now, uh, let me just set this default again. Okay. Now, if I'm scrolling down, this is how it's things are going. Now, if I had wanted that the upper part also should have been sticky, I would have clicked over here, go, went to the advanced and made it motion. And inside this, you know, motion effects, I would have also made this as sticky to the top. Now, when I scroll down, the problem is this second section that's coming, it's over, you know, it's overpowering the other section. So what I need to do specifically to get this also is I need to set an offset for this. If I come to the motion effects and set my offset, right? And then try to scroll down. You will see, I, I'm seeing a little bit of my header from the top also. So the thing is, I need to set an offset more. 
like this and this is also not working then i'll set some more i need to test and try to see what exactly works so this works now now all of this the first and the second section both are in the sticky part if i wanted both of them then but for me i just specifically want just this specific part so now i don't need to set any offset i need to set it to zero like this now it's a complete sticky header without the upper part that i created now you could have had multiple section over here one more section one more section up to you what kind of header that you want to build still all these configurations that i tell you it's about setting the offset so that the above section is appearing also making it sticky using the motion effects right in the advanced tab so if you make that for the section that becomes sticky and you can use it as the head header now if i just update it and i'll just save and close and let's just go over here and refresh this so firstly my header is going to change right so if my header goes to change now one thing is like uh although i have created this header what i need to do one more thing is set is set a condition also right now while updating this i need to add the condition i didn't add the condition that's why it was not showing over there so add the condition save and close right now uh, i add the, added the condition since it's a header i wanted for the entire website it's up to you since you have elementor pro you can set it for specific pages also or specific posts for for any specific page for a landing page depending upon what you had created right but for me i've set it for the entire site now if i refresh this So this is just the local server. If you want to check out the real demo, this is the link over there, right? You can just check this out. Uh, now you see, this is the header. Now, if I'm using this, it's a scroll that's option that's coming and it's become a sticky tool, a sticky header, right? So like this, I can create my own uh, sticky headers. All right. So I hope so guys, all this is clear to you. And now you're able to create a sticky header. And uh, that's all for this video. Make sure you can, if you need more updates, go ahead, subscribe to this. Use the bell icon so that you get notified with my new newest videos. All the problems that you face, I try my best to create videos out of it. So I hope so you enjoy this. Thank you for watching this video.